This is page number 24 of your grade 7 English workbook. We are doing activity 10. Okay. Here's a problem. Read it. Now we have a problem. Now let's see what they're asking us. What's your advice? Make sentences with should and shouldn't. Okay, when we are reading the problem today, we have to highlight what are the problems that uh, this person is facing. And then make sentences like this. He shouldn't go to play when he has a lot of homework. See, he should not go. Huh? Okay, now we can imagine what the problem is. We are talking about a child who doesn't do his homework well. He says he shouldn't go play. Right, let's read. I am Chatura. I am in grade seven. My father and mother are government officers. I am the only child in my family. My grandmother looks after me because my parents go to work every day. I come home from school around 2.30 p.m. Then I have my lunch and watch television. Uh, he watches television. After that, I go to play with my friends. I return home around 6 in the evening. I have a wash before my parents come and st I start my studies. When I have a lot of homework, I can't finish them. Then I go to school without doing my homework. I usually have my dinner at 8.30 p.m. and go to bed around 9 p.m. I'm worried. Please help me. Now, Pute, what are the problems did you notice? Now, they, now, since they have already picked up this problem, let me highlight that. He, he goes to play with his friends. Now this is a problem. Actually, the children must play. You all need to play. But when you have a lot of homework, if you just play the whole afternoon, whole evening, what happens is you won't be able to finish your homework. So you need to have a balance of things. What are the other things does this boy have? Yes. Now he says, I come home from school uh, around 30 and what does he do? He watches television. television. Now, you homework, should you be watching television? No. No. So what shall we write here? He? Yes. Yeah. Look at the previous example. He, he should not Yes, very good. He should not. I will write shouldn't. He shouldn't. Watch. A television. Watch television. He should not watch television. When he has a lot of homework. Let's write that also. We can't say someone shouldn't watch television. But we have to give the condition when he has a lot of homework okay now let's try and find another problem that he has now going to bed early having dinner early is good so we can't comment on that what else can we uh, say like he should be doing now did you his, yes, his parents are working. My father and mother both are government officers and he doesn't have any other brothers or sisters. He's the only child, no siblings and he has only grandmother. So parents go to work every day. Now in this situation, should he be responsible? Should he be more responsible about his work or not? Not. He should be more 
responsible. That means he should take care of his own work more efficiently than this because he knows only grandmother is there. Now grandmother can't teach him no whatever. Now if, if grandmother doesn't know things, uh, she won't be able to help. So this boy knows that mother and father are both working. So he is the only child. There are no siblings to help. There are no parents to help during the day. So he has to be more responsible of his work. He should be more responsible. So you have to make sentences which should and shouldn't both. And shouldn't. Now we will use should and write what he should be doing. In this kind of situation, what what should he be doing? Huh? He should be more responsible. Should be more responsible. That means he should uh, be accountable for his own work. He should take care of his things. Now, when there's no one to take care of him, he should learn. Now he is in grade seven. He is a big boy. He's a big boy. He should be able to manage his homework. He should be more responsible about his studies. Just watching television and just playing with friends are not enough. A child has to learn as well. Okay, he should be more responsible about his studies. Or you can say he should. I will write an extra one so you can uh, write that for extra knowledge. You can say he should limit playing and watching television. Now, this is the same thing. This is the same thing as number one and two. He shouldn't go and play, he shouldn't watch television. Here I wrote he should limit playing and watching television when he has a lot of homework. This one can be an extra point. Okay, moving on to activity 11. Pronounce the words given below, put them in the correct color. F and th different. Difference. Okay, this is going to be very easy because all the f words here in the first column, all the p words go and go in the second column. Okay, I will read the words first. Prone, frog. Plant, plate, flat, plum, fruit, plug, pipe, light, plane, frame, form, plan, pan, fan, paper, puppy, Floppy, fat, hat, heel, fall, and fit. Okay, let's start filling the grid. The first one, frown. First sound, no? First sound. First. It's first sound. Very good. Let's try to put it. Next one, prone. It's first sound. Frog, first sound. Plant, first sound. Plate, first sound. First sound, yes. with me. Flat, first sound, yes. Plum, first sound. First sound. And then fruit comes under F. Fruit. Yes. Plug over here. 
the sound. The sound. Fight. The sound. Fight comes here. Flight. Comes here. Plane. The sound. Plane. Frame. Come here. Form. Per sound. Per sound. Plan. Then pan. Per sound. Yes. Per fan. Per sound. Mm -hmm. Pan. Paper and copy. Both here. Both are per sounds. When you write your P should go below the line. Floppy. Per sound. Floppy over here. Cut over here. Yeah, pat. Feel all three final words are first on feel, fall, pit. Feel, fall, pit. So there are all the words correct in your book? Yes, teacher. Very good. Very good. Moving on to activity 12. Describe the following picture. Okay, they have started by saying this is a children's park. Some children are playing with a ball. Now there are different uh, play items here. Right? We can see um, children playing in different uh, places with different people. Okay, let's write something about this picture. What can you say? This is a children park. Some children are playing with teaser. No, Kude. Now there is this is a children's park is one time uh, sentence. Now you use that to introduce. Some children are playing with a ball is given. The, those some children are here. One, two, three, four. These four children are playing with a ball. Okay. What are the other things you can see? Some children are playing with pizza. Aha, uh -huh, very good. Some children. There are four children. Four children are playing the The seesaw. What else can you say today? Some children are swing. Two children are swinging. Yes. Two children are swinging. Yes. You can say two girls. Okay. We will try to make our writing very interesting. Two girls are swinging. Okay, Pute, what else can you see? Some kids are hanging. Ah, here. This is the monkey bars. Um, climbers. Okay. So you can say a girl and a boy a girl and a boy are climbing the monkey bars the 
monkey bar. Okay. Yes. What are these three boys doing? Yes. They are playing on the slide. You call this mat slide as well. Three boys are playing on the mat slide. Is there anything else you can mention? Now we've mentioned everything, pretty much everything. Now we will just uh, mention some general things. All the children look happy or sad? Uh, yes. All the children look happy or sad? Happy. Yes, they look happy. But there is a... <laughs> Large space to write. So what else can we think of? Now we can say, before that uh, all the children look happy, yeah. From here we can finish, but additionally you can say, uh, you can count all together how many boys are there, all together how many girls are there, and then um, write that one. Okay, I think this is all we can describe here. Also, you can mention what the children are wearing. Uh, two girls are wearing dresses and another three girls are wearing uh, skirt and blouse. Like that, you can say all the boys are wearing shorts and t-shirts. You know, if you really want to fill up this page, you can use this information and then write. Okay, moving on to activity 13. Complete the blanks using words given in the box. It's raining. Now let's read the read the answers first. Can cannot. Must must not. Should should not. Would would not. You use can and cannot for the things that you are not able to. And to say, must and must not are the things that you should never do, right? Good means, good means, say, uh, polite request would you like to eat something? I would like to do this, like to show your preferences. Okay, let's try and see what we can put in the blank here. It's raining. We Blank, go out now. Should not. Uh -huh. You can say should not. You should go out. But can you cannot as well here. It's raining. We cannot go out. Most probably this one. Okay. We blank, wash our hands before eating. What do you think? Yes, so do you think it's a, uh, something that we really must do here or is it okay to not wash also? You will write sure. The view is beautiful. Blank, take a photograph. Must. The view is beautiful in this case. Yeah, you can say you must take a photograph, but unlike this, you usually say you should. You should take a photograph. The road is narrow. You blank drive fast. Should not. Yes, you must not. It's very dangerous. It's really critical if he doesn't uh, 
follow these instructions, it's, it can be really dangerous. So in that kind of situations, you can say, must not. My hands are dirty. I blank answer the phone. Cannot. Sorry? Cannot. Okay, correct. I cannot. You blank eat well now or you blank be hungry. Now, or oh, you would, would be hungry, yes. She is not well. She blank come to school tomorrow. Would not. Should not. Okay. You can say she shouldn't. Since I don't have space, I will just write the contracted form. Okay. Okay. Next one is a listening activity. Now please look at this map here on this side is your left hand side. This side is your right hand side. Now when you uh, listen to this map, you have to refer to your right hand and left hand according to this map. Actually when you look at the book, this is your right hand. Right, but when you stand here and you start moving inside, then this side is your left and this side is your right. You understand over there? Yes. Okay. Okay, I'm going to read a passage. Please start marking your answers. Okay. This is a map of a recently developed small town called Sao Siripura. The entrance to this village is marked with a red circle. Right and left sides are indicated above with arrows. When you enter from the gate marked in red, you can see seven houses on your right hand side. On your left hand side, you can see the place where people come and take baths and wash their clothes. The well you can see is more than 50 years old. When you pass the well on your left, you can see the school. It is a small school for girls and boys. Opposite the school, when you move down opposite the school, you can see the bank. If you take a turn to your left from the junction near the school, you may come again into a four-way junction. 
from this junction, if you turn to your left side again and go straight towards the well on your right hand side you can see the church next to the church is the playground it is a big area in front of the playground you have the town hall and the police station When you turn back and come to the uh, four-way junction again, and if you just go straight passing the bank, after when you pass the bank you have the post office next to the bank and in front of the post office you will find the theater okay now i have mentioned one two three four five six all the places i have mentioned now put the according to what you understood what is number one? When you pass the well, what did I say? You meet a... Now this is the person. Yes, very good. This is the person who is coming like this. Now his left hand side is this. Now you have to imagine he has hands. Right? His hands. This is the left hand. And this is the other side is the right hand. Now this fellow is walking. Right? This fellow is walking. Then when you, were, when you pass the well, you met what at number one? School. school. Very good. This is a school. Then I said opposite the school that means on the other side of the road opposite the school you have what bank you have the bank very good so this one is the bank then i said when you turn a left now this person's right hand side is this 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 is the left hand side now this person turns to the left hand side. So this person, imagine it, he spins and turns, right? And then turns and goes. Now this is his left hand. This is his right hand. Now he is going. And then he passed town hall and then move on. What can he see here at number six? The it was the police station church it was the church i said when when you uh, pass this place you you find the church 
right and then i said next to the church this side it's like beside next to next to the church number 2 is the playground. big playground playground is a big area here in this town playground then in front of the playground and next to the town hall what did i say police station yes and then i said after that if he came back to the junction where he met the bank and if he go straight down on his right hand side he will find what what's number 5 after the post office i said when you pass the bank you find the post office so this is the post office here right and i said in front of post office you find the theater i said in front of the post office you find the theater so number 5 is the theater number 5 is the theater okay please finish this one activity 15 read the following note imagine that you are kokila and write a reply dear kokila i have cricket practices in the afternoon at school today can you tell the van driver not to wait for me saranga okay now who should the we write to dear saranga yes now i am kokil and you are kokil right so he should be writing to saranga after every greeting put there you have to put a comma so you write dear saranga and put a comma yes ah huh. now can, he had a request for saranga can that he wants uh, saranga to go and tell the van driver not to wait so how should we reply yes dear saranga dear saranga i will tell the van driver not to wait you can just say sure sure i will say not to wait enjoy your cricket practices and here you will write okay la you need to put a full stop here you can say not to wait for you
Okay. Okay, moving on to activity 16. Find the word with a different sound and underline it. Okay, wish, wash, dish, toss. What is the different sound? There are three words with sh, sh, sh sound. And there is one word with this sound. So what is the odd man? Toss. Toss. Very good. Please use a ruler whenever you need to underline something. And the color pencil also. Next one. Miss. Toss. Gloss. Moss. Uh, gloss. Why gloss? Now these are all us, us, us. See the pattern? Miss. Yes, this is the is sound. The others are o sound. Right? Next one. Crush, cross, brush, flush. Cross. Cross. There are three sh sounds and only one s sound. So this is the this is the odd man. Different word. Shop, tip, sip. Shop. Shop, very good. The others are ip, ip, ip sounds. This one is only op sound. Okay, next one. Suit, root, boot, soap. 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 Very good. This is the only word ending with a first sound. Now this word, some people pronounce it as route. Route. Both are correct. Some people say root. Some people say route. Okay. Okay. Activity 16 done. Now we are coming to activity 17. Read the notice given below and answer the given questions. Color me. An exhibition of arts and crafts for raising funds organized by the School of Differently Abled will be held from 18th to 21st September 2019 at the House of Art, Marcy Plaza, age group 6 to 10 years. Buy your tickets today. The Parents' Union. Ah. Now you can see there is an exhibition of arts and crafts. To do what? To collect money. Raising funds means to collect money. For what? For the school of differently able. Who are the people uh, we call the, who are differently able? Huh? Now we used to uh, call these people as disabled people. But recently, we started calling them differently abled. Why? They are not able as ordinary people. They are a little bit different. They have different abilities. Right? I will show you a few, picture, a few pictures of differently abled people. They can either, they can't either walk, they can't either talk, they uh, can't either hear, they can't either see. Um, there can be many things that uh, they are not able to do. But even if these abilities are not there, they have different abilities. For example, if a person is blind, if that person cannot see, they have very sensitive uh, smell, hearing, and all that. Why? Because their eyes can't see, but they can perceive other things. Other senses are working uh, 
um, better than us, right? So they are differently able. Okay, so they are collecting money. This art and craft exhibition is to collect money to help the children in this uh, school, the school of differently able children with different abilities, right? That will be held from 18th to 21st. That means 18th, 19th, 20th and 21st throughout four days uh, in September. And they have given you the place at the House of Art, Marcy Plaza. And age group has been given. Only six to 10 years children can participate, right? Age group, they are, they are the ones who are participating in the, in the exhibition. Buy your tickets today. You have to pay money and get the tickets. Why? They are doing it to collect money to help some other people. And who are organizing? the parents union right parents union mean this, this this is organized by parents okay now let's answer these questions what is this notice about exhibition of art and craft yes it is an exhibition of arts and crafts Okay. What is the purpose of this event? What is the purpose? The school. No, purpose means what is the uh, what is the intention? What do they want to do with this exhibition? Why are they uh, organizing an exhibition? To. Uh, to. Fun. To raise funds, to collect money, right? What is the purpose of this event? To raise funds. To raise funds. You can say um, for the school of differently able this is the purpose next one can we go to see it for free of charge no 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 we cannot next one who has done the artwork? Yes, children yes. of what? How, uh, what is the age group? Children of six, six to ten. ten years. Who organizes it? The Parents Union. Yes, the Parents Union. Okay. Activity 18. You are about to celebrate your 13th birthday. Write a letter of invitation to your friend asking him or her to attend the party that your parents have organized. Tell him or her what she can do there. I think this directly links with the letter. Can you please tell me the page number? Mm. 
the letter that Farah wrote, that donation of library books, remember? 41. Last page. No, no, in your pupil book, no? Yes. In your pupil book, you had a letter that a girl has written to be her friend saying that on her birthday she donated some library books. Where was it? In your workbook? Yes. I think it's uh, in a different grade book. Okay, anyways, we will continue with our work here. You are about to celebrate your 13th birthday. Now we have to write a letter. We have to first invite, right? We have to invite that person to the party and then tell what are the events that you have uh, planned to do. Okay. Let's do a rough uh, schedule now. Um, I will start my letter from here. It looks nice. Okay. Now, Pute, who is your friend that you are going to invite for your birthday party? Um, Tarun. Tarun. Okay. Let's start writing your letter. I think for the for the address and everything we will use this one here you have to write your address let's say it's uh, 665 upon 85 upon 2 Velivita Malabe Velivita Kadu okay this is the address. You need to first write the address. Let's write this like this. Then after you write the address, you leave a line and write the date today. Today is 10th June 2020. When you write 10, when you write these ordinal numbers, you write, need to write this th small in small letters above here right and then you write the salutation dear Tarun after all the greetings or salutations you need to put a comma right ah, now we are going to invite him so uh, now those who are doing this in the video you think of your friend your address and this date and write about your birthday okay now puta tell me when is your birthday yes what is when is your birthday uh, 2008 yes Set. September uh -huh. 18th. Okay, you have to say 18th of September. That is your birthday. You don't need to say the year. Right? So your birthday is on 18th of September. Okay, let's write to Tarun. Dear Tarun, I will be turning 13 On the 18th of September, and my parents have organized a birthday party for me. Okay, right. Now we told the reason for the letter. There's a birthday party. 
Now what do you have to uh, write? We have to invite him. Then you write, I'd like to invite you to be there as my best friend. Now we have to tell where is this party be held? Where is this party going to be held? Or uh, is it a, a hotel or is it a, is it a resort or is it a restaurant or where? You have to think of the place you like to have your birthday and then write. Where do you think you will have your birthday party? Restaurant. Oh, okay, at a restaurant. Okay. Now we will write the name of the restaurant. As my best friend. The party will be held at Let's say yo yo restaurant. I just put a name, you write anything you like. Okay. Restaurant starting from what time? What time do you want your birthday party to start? Um, from? Yeah. Yeah. Right. We will uh, say the place also Malabe starting from, yes, mm. starting from what time? 1 p.m. Uh -huh. Starting from 1 p.m. So until what time? Mm. 2 p.m. Only one hour? Yes. Then do you have time for other events and to eat and to have fun also? 8, uh, 8 p.m. Ah, 8 p.m. is too long, no? Like we will say like at least 2-3 hours, right? 1 p.m. to let's say 4 p.m. Okay, because you are going to write so many things that you are going to tempt your friend to come to a birthday party, right? Starting from, uh, from this time to this time. Then, they are asking you, now we invited and we told him uh, where to come, at what time to come, right? Now you have to tell him what he can do there. Now, what are the special events that your parents have organized at the Yo-Yo restaurant? Yes? There will be many exciting events on that day. Yeah, such as, tell me two examples, such as Play video game. Uh -huh, okay. We could play video games. Come on, what else you have organized on your birthday party? Uh, DJ. Uh huh. You can play video games. DJ, we will uh, mention later. Just tell me what are the things you can do. DJ is something that the person who's doing, who's coming doing, right? 
watching the movies. Okay, you can say we could play video games, watch a movie, and play. Some, tell me some game you like to play, like little, like a, uh, a game that doesn't take so long. What are the games that boys play at school? That you are you are It's a video game. Yes. Now we all already mentioned video games. Now we could play video games. Okay, let's say let's finish from here. Video game and watch a movie. Now let's mention the restaurant and the food. You can say yo yo restaurant is very popular for delicious desert items. So you can you can enjoy a good meal too. A great meal too. You could enjoy so you can enjoy a great meal too. So what else can you say? There will also be a DJ. There will also be a DJ, which is going to be a which is going to be a lot of fun. I really can't wait hoping to see you at my birthday party and then let's uh, finish the letter love your ending Oh, this is called the closing of a letter. When you say with love, every closing has to end with a comma. Like when you uh, put a comma after Tarun, dear Tarun, comma. With love, comma. With love, okay. you write your name here. Okay, now please finish your letter. First the address and then the date and then the greeting and then the body of the letter. After the body, you have the closing. Please finish this and say done. You don't have to copy this. You can alter, you can change the information here and write whatever you like.
now this is the last activity of the lesson then we can move on to unit 4